Here we go. Set. And they're off. Georgie George shifting path a little bit slow into stride. Out nicely is Yamadori. Get straight off to the early lead over Lady Renee in second. Master Vigilante, black and white colours at the outside. King Mo, easy money around horses. They follow by Shifting Path, who gained a few places on the inside of runners. Further back then to Seeking Peace in the white sleeves and cap. Next best is Georgie George, Mr. Frosty. Two lengths away then to Air of Royalty. I'll slip away, races towards the back of the field. As they make their way down the side of the track with about 700 metres left to run, Yamadori is the one in front over Lady Renee who races back in second then comes Master Vigilante who follows the leader in the black and white colours King Mose in the orange and purple then towards the extreme outside is Easy Money not too far away over towards the inside is Shifting Path then comes Lady Renee I'll slip away an air of royalty they spread right across the track Yamadori to off the inside is in front second place is Hats Pride that's now making a claim then comes Master Vigilante Shifting Path was further back 150 left to run Yamadori under attack from Hats Pride. Then comes Master Vigilante as Yamadori goes again. Yamadori found more to beat off Hats Pride. Then came Master Vigilante and fourth to Seeking Peace. They did finish at big intervals. The outside group or, or those that stuck to whatever agreement there was didn't attack you. So it's Yamadori, now a two-time winner from four starts. He's, like I said, upwardly mobile. He's got something about him. He had to fight off Hats Pride, who found a spark with about 300 metres left to run, but couldn't get past Yamadori late. The scheduled off time for race 10 is 25 past 5. Race 9, the World Sports Betting Leaders in Fixed Odds. Class 5 has been won by number 1, Yamadori, the son of Lancaster Bomber. Well done to uh, W Ngongwana. He receives his 1,000 rand thanks to Hollywood Bets and Cape Racing. Jockey aboard Yamadori's Grand Fenica. Grant, well done. Thanks, Vicky. I know that it is a little bit unconventional, but he's a lovely horse. And uh, I thought, you know, not only in, in, in person, but also the way that he won today. Yeah, you know, he's, he's not a, the easiest of customers. Um, he tends to, to overdo it and, you know, he grabs a bit on the one side as well. But I think with racing, you, you, perhaps you'll, you'll be better. Um, today also wasn't the easiest with me. So, um, you know, it's a team for actually still making it home to the winner's box. And Grant, you had to do a little bit of work at the finish there. You had a horse skating on your outside. Yeah, he's a horse that also, um, you know, he, he was literally waiting for them to come as well. So he made odd, odd work of the win where he could have actually won easier. But he is, he's got he's got quirks about him. But he's always maybe in time you'll 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 be better, you know. Um, yeah. Well done for the win. Thank you. And to the snake team, nice, you know, to have a winner today. <laughs> Thank you. It is nice to have a winner, Justin. <laughs> well done uh, for the win. With it. he looks like a lovely sort. As Grant said, he's still he's still sort of learning his trade. Look, he was uh, definitely our best uh, run on the day. Uh, if you look at the form and. Um, it was hard to, to take the one draw and chase him. We, we actually want to teach him to settle because last time Sean Veal couldn't hold one side of him. So it was a, a hard pull to swallow to chase him, to get him towards the outside and, uh, you know, gain a good position. So uh, uh, I think it was a great run considering uh, that we had to do something like that. But um, a uh, very, very good win uh, for a young horse. He's, uh, he, he looks amazing, though, I must say. He looks, he looks incredible this time of the year. Uh, really well done to, to Doug Ross and uh, Nick Johnson. Uh, they, they've got some lovely horses together, so really looking forward to it. And uh, I think it's fantastic that they've, like many South Africans, they've gone to the South African Games in France just in case the Springboks need a replacement. I think it's very kind of them to give up their time to just in case the Springboks need a, a, a backup play or something. So I really hope they enjoy the, the rugby games and we're hoping that we can see them there. <laughs> just well done. Great, and Drakenstein on breeding him. This mare's been, you know, they, they're very aggressive types and uh, it, it, it's, we've followed the family a long way. So we, we're looking forward to some results. Well, thank you. You know what you're dealing with then. Well done. Great, thank you very much. 
It's uh, Justin Snaith uh, chatting about number, or speaking about, shall I rather say, number one, Yamadori, the son of Lancaster Bomber. Well done to Drakenstein Stud for breeding and uh, Nick Johnson and Douglas Ross for owning a lovely progressive sort as uh, both Justin and uh, Grant have mentioned. A little bit of an aggressive horse, but he will most certainly furnish with time and racing.